Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and yes, you read the title right and you might be amazed why? Why you are making a video on how to install Node.js? Let me save you some time. Go to nodejs.org, click on download button there, then click on next. I agree, I agree, next, 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 installation done. So this was a shorter version. Now coming on to the bigger version for those people who need everything to be done on their screen in front of them. Now my system is totally new. I recently formatted my entire big iMac and also my Windows system as well. So I will be installing a lot of things in it, uh, including Node.js, Android Studio, Xcode, some Python stuff, Anaconda, uh, setting up VS Code, couple of mode editors, Sublime Text and all of that. So you will be getting a lot of videos in how to set up the entire system just, that's just the way how I like it. And this is gonna be same for uh, first for the Mac and then some tools and things for the Windows as well. Windows will come up later on. So in the, uh, these videos, you will be seeing these stuff as well in the upcoming days. So let's get started first and foremost, for all those people who have already gone with those instructions of Node.js, uh, let me tell you one thing that Node.js is amazing. You don't need to always have to have full knowledge of Node.js in order to work with it. Probably you're working with React, maybe Angular. It's kind of an essential thing uh, to work with a variety of frameworks and uh, libraries like Vue and all these things. So it's kind of an always good thing to have a Node.js in your system. So it's a good thing. So. Moving back up here, how we can grab that. So first and foremost, as I say, go to nodejs.org and you will see two things here. The download for Mac OS, of course, it's available exactly for, if you'll click on the other downloads, it will be available for Linux and for Windows as well. But the big question is, what is this LTS and what is this current? Now, here's a quick difference in a shorter and simple, precise manner. LTS stands for long-term support. So if I had to put something on production, such as the Learn Code Online website, I would definitely be using LTS. I don't want some libraries are working, some are not. Although the current is usually stable, like up to 95 to 98% usually, that's a really big percentage, but there are some neat picking libraries which always makes trouble. So it depends on what kind of things you want to do in case you are just learning and just pinging around, current is always good. But in case you're working for production level thing, you know that surely it's gonna be going into production, hundreds and thousands of people will be using it, LTS is a good idea. I'm gonna go for the current one in case you are onto something else, just click on the others and you will get your ones. Here's a quick advice, always go for 64-bit. Everything is now shifting onto 64-bit architecture. In case you are still on 32 one, hey, time to wake up and get onto 64-bit. Go ahead and move with the other crowd. And just to save us some time, I have already downloaded it. Now we don't need you, so we can close the browser. So here's our node package. Uh, yours might be a little bit different. The installation is actually pretty simple. Not pretty simple, it's the most simplest one. So introduction, uh, here are some of the paths that it is already setting up for me, and I'm totally happy with that. Of course, I have to agree license and agreement, and I have read all of it. Just, just see how quickly I read that. So hit on continue, I agree, yes, definitely, I agree. Installation, yes, install it on my disk. It takes just a little bit around 60 MB. So click on install. Of course, you need my password since my keyboard doesn't have my finger there. So click on agree. And uh, now it's gonna give it some file. Yours computer might take a little bit more minute uh, in case you don't have Fusion Drive. Of course, move it to trash. I don't need it. There we go, all installation done. Now how we can verify that? Open up your ter terminal or command prompt, minus terminal, your might be command prompt on Windows, and all you have to do is node space hyphen V. And there we go, it's gonna give you the node version. But most of the people might not be installing it for using the node, installing various other dependencies for learning Angular, React, Vue, tons of other things, and that is NPM. It's like a package manager which install things for you easily, kind of a stuff. And again, to check their version is npm space hyphen v. And there you go, you got your version. Again, if this version is making a problem for yourself, go ahead, look onto internet how to install that. That's actually really easy. And you can install the LTS version as well. So yeah, very quick video. You're gonna see a lot of them coming up because I need to install tons of things in my computer. So bear with me. That's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.